Insure drinks cause death. This was the title of a video that I stumbled upon recently. And I really feel the need to address it. This is probably the worst product to put out there for consumption that you can build to put in your body. And a lot of elderly people put this in their body and they probably will die a lot quicker consuming it. With the claim that Insure drinks will truly cause you to die, we need to take a look at the honest truth behind this statement. Elderly people drink this. Um, this is probably the worst thing <laughs> an elderly person can consume. Are they terrible for your health? Are they perfectly okay? Video titles like this make it hard to know. And if you aren't sure what Insure drinks are, who they are typically designed for, this video will detail that in addition to answering the question, do Insure drinks really cause death? So make sure to stay till the end for that. One of the first major issues in the video was that the individual talked about monounsaturated fat, polyunsaturated fat, and 23 grams of sugar in the bottle. Only eight flow ounce for one of these. But this is why, why this is a terrible product and why doctors, I don't know why they recommend it, but it's 250 calories in this. It has monosaturated fat, polysaturated fat, uh, a lot for this small bottle. 23 grams of sugar. For starters, mono and polyunsaturated fats are considered the healthy fats that keep our good cholesterol in check. So these are actually a good thing to have in a nutritional drink. When it comes to the sugar content, 23 grams of sugar in an eight ounce bottle of Insure actually is a decent amount. The problem with using this as an argument against it is that it does not address who these types of drinks are for. There is actually a very small set of population who I would recommend drinking Insure drinks. These people fall under the category of being extremely underweight. Most elderly individuals who do drink Insure drinks are exactly in this demographic. The extra sugar in the drink is actually a good thing for them to have because they are so underweight and malnourished. Of course, I would much rather have them eat some fruit and lean meats, but a lot of older adults don't taste well, so although sugar compromises a decent amount of the carbohydrates, the added protein, micronutrients, overall calories, and the taste is the lesser of two evils. If you're finding value from this video so far, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more videos helping you to navigate all the health misinformation online, regardless of your current abilities in life. In addition to complaining about the sugar content, the maker of the video started listing out all the ingredients one by one. Let's carry forward. Um, look at the ingredient list. Sugar, uh, corn, <laughs> maldrection. I mean, they, they vegetable oils look at this right here blend of vegetable oils canola oil some of the ingredients in the ingredient list aren't the healthiest for you but this wasn't really the goal maker of the video just simply stated the ingredient laughed and didn't offer any reason into why they weren't good for you as mentioned previously these drinks are designed for extremely underweight individuals to gain weight quickly to reduce the chances of death Having a few processed items in the insured drink make it more palatable, which will help to keep that person alive. The icing on the cake in this video is when he says that doctors should recommend multivitamins instead of insured drinks, as this would offer much more benefit compared to the insured drink. Now, I don't know why doctors do recommend this instead of a, a uh, multivitamin, which you'll probably get a lot more out of it and a lot less bad stuff that is inside here. The problem with this statement is that it simply isn't addressing the purpose of the insured drinks once again. Insured drinks are for people who are severely underweight, who need to consume calories quickly so they have strength to simply get out of a chair, walk around and not die. So do they cause death? Anytime you claim that a certain product will do a certain thing to your body, we look for evidence of what was said. In the example of the video shown, there wasn't really much of this. Some of the ingredients in the insured drinks aren't particularly the best. Unless there is a study done where somebody simply drinks insured drinks for a long period of time, their blood work goes down, it's hard to say that they can really cause death. Hopefully this gave you a little guidance on what the original insured drink was designed for. And if you don't fall into that demographic of underweight people, but you still want to try some insured drinks, I actually made a great video that can show you a few different options that insure has made for individuals of all abilities to give them some extra nutrients in life. I'm out of it, I'm out of it, no man, to tell me you're no good, I'm brushing away.